I like trying to sniff out good deals and save money when I'm doing projects. Uh, I'm really tired of renting vehicles, so I figured I'd rent one one last time to pick up what seemed like a pretty good deal on a trailer on Facebook Marketplace. Because things go pretty quickly sometimes, I didn't want to miss out on the deal and I didn't have a hitch from my car yet. I confirmed with U-Haul that their vehicles have the right ball size. Turns out they did not. They also did not have the vehicle that I reserved, so they gave me a different one. But I drove an hour. It was a pain. Eventually, I finally got the trailer after hours of work. I then dropped the trailer off here and then I drove the U-Haul back and this video ended like, like this. U-Haul has an app where you can just drop the truck off after hours, and of course the app did not work. I figured, okay, I did it twice, that's good enough, I'm just gonna go inside, see if the employee's still there. The, a couple lights were on, I walked through the side entrance, it was unlocked, I walked to the front office area, and I guess I set off a motion alarm. I set the alarm off. Turns out, I guess, the employee set the alarm and then left without locking the doors. But I figured, okay, at least their security will probably come eventually. So I waited about five minutes and no security showed up. At that point, I went outside and just hung out because I guess if security wasn't alerted, I guess maybe the local police were so that they can come check it out. And there's nobody here. I waited another 10 minutes, nothing. Nobody showed up, no cops, no U-Haul employees. It was just this alarm blaring down the entire highway and then just little old me hanging out on my phone. So after 15 minutes, the alarm automatically disarmed. I'm sure the building had cameras and I didn't really want to end up being a, a burglary suspect or something because I guess I, from the cameras, it might've looked like I broke into a U-Haul. Most likely I would have been fine, but I didn't want to just abandon it after setting an alarm off, hanging out for a bit, showing my face to cameras and just standing there awkwardly. So I didn't really know who I should call. 911 location of your emergency. Hey, I met a U-Haul in Raleigh. So I went in and I set the alarm off to the building. Uh, I've been waiting for like 10 minutes, so nobody's showing up. So I don't know if I should like stay here and wait. I was just dropping my truck off because uh, I needed some help dropping it off. And I thought there was someone inside. You're saying there's no employees there? No, they're, well, I guess they're closed. I thought they were open until 8. Okay, but you didn't see any employees when you went inside? No, I don't see any. But uh, when I pulled up, there were some people here. So you walked in the main door? Yeah, just the main entrance. It's unlocked. You still don't see any employees? No, I think it's empty. So, uh, so you, you were just gonna, uh, how are you gonna drop off the car? Do they allow you to just drop the keys without seeing they, anybody? They do it through the app, but the app isn't working. Okay. All right, well, we'll, uh, we'll get some officers over there to check it out. Okay, thanks. And so I had to wait. And keep in mind, I ordered DoorDash. It was already on the way to my house. But luckily the cops were pretty quick. They just came, for some reason they sent two, and I got this beautiful picture. I really like this picture <laughs> because it summarizes the whole, I had to call the cops on myself after having a terrible day anyway, just trying to save a few hundred bucks. So one officer came over and he was like, hey, so what, what's happening? And I explained it to him dropping the truck off, set an alarm off, and he was super confused. And then a second officer showed up and they, they were both just really confused. I think they found it kind of funny. And so he basically said, well, since you called yourself and you seem pretty normal, I'm guessing you weren't trying to burglarize them, so you're free to go. And I was like, I didn't know I wasn't free to go until before then, but okay. So that was fine, but then of course, he asked about the car, because everyone asks about the car when they see a wrapped Tesla or whatever. They also question where the money comes from, and he was like, what do you do? And Generally, if I don't feel like explaining what a YouTuber is or anything, I just say I'm a video editor, but I was like, I'm a YouTuber. From there, they were then like, well, do you invest in Tesla? And I was like, I did. And then like, what else do you invest in GameStop? Because this was when the GameStop stuff was like at its peak. And I was like, yeah. And then they asked a bunch of investing advice. And I was like, I'm, I can't give legal advice on investing. But then I talked about <laughs> my investments for like 10 minutes because they didn't know what to do actually about the thing, the door was unlocked, they didn't know how to contact U-Haul. I couldn't contact them because their wait time is atrocious no matter what time of day it is. I still couldn't drop the, the truck off, but I was like, can I just leave the truck? And they were like, yeah. Well, they wrote, they wrote down a note, so if U-Haul thinks that I stole the truck, it's now in a police report that I did not in fact steal the truck and they were both witnesses of that. <laughs> and then I just left. And hopefully that's my last time having to get a U-Haul. Every time it sucks. But the important thing is I now have my lovely little trailer 
Here is its current state. We'll see how much it costs, but let's get started. Some of the screws are literally bent, like I'm guessing they like drop something metal or heavy on the screw, so it's there's literally no way it's gonna unscrew. And I don't have anything that can cut in metal, so I just have to bend it a lot. Although I don't wanna break the metal frame. When I know what kind of wood it is, it's a uh, pine. I was actually very curious, but I can smell, it's pine. The screw didn't come off though. Here's the aftermath. So this part on the end was already bent like that, and then I just bent to this part. But how do I get this off? I guess I'll have to get metal cutters. Okay, when I first bought this trailer, I wasn't even really gonna touch it. I was gonna power wash it and just have that be it. But once I power washed it, I was like, there's a lot I could do with it. And I started buying more stuff. So this went from a budget, tra budget cheapest trailer I can get to haul stuff that I need to, to refurbishing the entire trailer, but it's kind of fun and it shouldn't be too hard. So I just bought this set of ratchet and universal socket set. There was a silver one. This one was $5 more because it's a nice matte black. So this is gonna be to remove <laughs> all of the wood because removing the wood is going to, one, look better because I'm gonna put a thinner uh, plywood that's solid. So it'll be more waterproof, lightweight, and uh, not all of the bolts are easy to remove. So I got a bolt cutter. I've never used one of these, but that was 14 bucks. And then I got this, which I knew I would need. It's a 100 foot pounds torque wrench. This is how I'm gonna have to take apart my car to put the actual hitch on it. So what I'm doing now, I can't decide if I should remove the base wood, but I have to put the new wood on the base first if I do end up doing that, because I'm gonna put the new wood on the inside of the trailer instead of the outside. I bought one piece of plywood just to kind of test it out. I think it's gonna be too wide, but it should be easy to cut. Oh, actually it fits. On the inside, it would look like this. It goes over a bit, but it actually gives me a bit more height. And it is a pretty thin piece. If I wanted to, I could probably break it, but 
I think this will be enough support. And then the wood, the metal will be exposed on the exterior and I'm gonna spray paint it all. Then like I said, the question is, do I remove this base wood? It'll take a while, but it is pretty algae covered. these little problems that I never even would have thought of. Uh, the current issue is this is too shallow for this bolt, so it doesn't reach. The screw is too long. Another reason I'm very glad I bought these for 14 bucks, because I can short it. decided to do it. I'm taking it all the wood off. Also, that thing is filled with spider eggs and spider sex. Probably not a bad idea since I'm going to be storing this in my garage. It's the next morning after picking it up. I fell asleep around 8 p.m. because I was so tired and woke up at 4 a.m. Today I got up at 6 a.m. After eating, I went to the DMV, which took forever, and I got the trailer tag. It was actually a lot easier than I expected. It was about $115. Originally, I was gonna buy a trailer that did not have a title because most of them, the people just, yeah, oh, someone else has the title, I lost it, I don't have it. It would have been so hard if I didn't have a title. So it was worth paying extra for a trailer with a title, a clean title that is. I don't, I think it's fine. I mean, I don't think you can do anything with my trailer number. Okay, well, the back piece, although it's in, it's a little crooked just because it's not sitting straight. Turns out this is exactly four feet. This is four feet and one inch. It does not fit those holes. It fits the center holes. I can't stop sneezing, I think because of the stain, but I'll try and talk through it. So I made the realization, like I mentioned, that this piece of wood, 48 inches, this area is 49 inches, so I figured I would get some of these like door hinge things. I don't know what they're called. 
um, and then put it here <laughs> so that it can reach over. And I think it'll be strong enough, I'm pretty sure. I kind of just assumed the hole would be the right size. I tried to line it up at the store, but I didn't have any unpackaged, so I couldn't actually try it. But it turns out this doesn't fit. It almost fits, it's so close. I don't even know why it wouldn't, but I've got the half inch drill bit. I don't know if you can drill metal with metal, but they're different, since they're different colors, I assume they're different kinds of metal. It's just a matter of if the gold metal is stronger than the silver metal. <laughs> I think this is zinc, but I don't know what, wait, no, these were zinc. Wait, I don't know. Um, so yeah, let's see if it works. Hey, we did it. I don't have to go back to Home Depot. Ow. I'm not qualified to be doing this. And now I've got space to pop the wood in, pull these up, drill some pilot holes, and finish it up. So I've since done some finishing touch, well not really finishing touches, but touches to make it usable. I was going to do the wiring myself on the car, but it was way too complicated for me to understand. I don't understand electricity, and I was way too scared to cut cords on a Tesla. So I decided to take it to a place, which was an extra $350 to get them to wire it. They said it's the hardest car to wire. It took them about four hours, but they did it. And it's now a legal trailer. I've got the tag, I've got everything. It doesn't have all the sides yet, but it's got the base and two of the, the parts, and it's now usable. With this trailer, moving will be easier. I can get supplies for reptiles and reptile enclosures. I can drop stuff off because if I sell bulky things... I moved to the backyard because it was quieter. I can sell bulky items locally without people coming like to the property or whatever because I don't want people to come here and I think it'll be worth it. So far I've actually spent a couple thousand dollars on this but that is a lot cheaper than getting a van. The Cybertruck is expensive and not out yet. <laughs> and uh, I'm tired of getting U-Hauls, because I hate U-Haul. So now there's camera footage of me wandering around the U-Haul for 10 minutes waiting to get arrested. I didn't think I was gonna get arrested, but I thought something would happen, and that was my exhausting day. And uh, that's the progress on the trailer. Because I'm trying to actively get a house, there hasn't been too much uh, time for me to do videos and stuff, but I'll be getting back to it soon, and I'll try and keep you updated. You can follow me on other social medias as well for more updates. That's it, you can check out the previous vlogs of what's been happening and the whole process of everything, and there'll be more to come. So, I'm Alex, and thanks for watching. You saying there's no employees there?